Last night we stayed at this place called Sun Swan Resort. 600 baht a night, coffee included. Really nice and peaceful in the mountains outside of town. I sent the drone up this morning. Beautiful shots. It's such absolute beautiful nature. Just forests and mountains everywhere. And now we're heading to Mei Seriang. We're gonna stay at a little place there for 500 baht a night. 160 kilometers, three hours to go. Alright, goodbye San Simon Resort. It's been wonderful, peaceful and quiet. Now heading back on the road. So let's see what we get up to today. We are heading to a town called Mei Seriang. Today is definitely less curvy from what I can tell on the map. Still curves, still beautiful drive, but a little bit more straight. So 160 kilometers, let's go. You know, a few days into a trip like this, you feel like, all right, you wake up, have your breakfast, get on the bike. You feel sad when you think about it being over because this routine becomes normal. We're back into some beautiful valleys. Uh, it seems like this is a little solar farm on the left here. That's pretty cool. Meong Son Solar Farm. It's gonna be a beautiful day of driving. This is so beautiful. And it's such nice weather right now. December in Thailand is, oh, it's some of the best weather of the whole year. Especially in the north. So this whole section on basically half of day two and all of day three, we're basically driving on the Myanmar border, Burma. And you wouldn't notice, but you wouldn't notice, but uh, there's a civil war going on just across the border, or a little bit of civil unrest and some bad stuff happening. Uh, but on this side, on Thailand's side, it's all peace and quiet. Quite uh, stark contrast. But you could just Google it. There's uh, guerrilla war fighters. I think after it was a military coup that happened. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about the history, but it sure is good to be on this side of the border, I can tell you that. Pretty cool Buddha statue up there. A little bit chilly. 326 kilometers from Chiang Mai. So, we'll do about half that today and then the rest of it tomorrow. Need to get some gas. So we're going through a town now. I think it's called Kun Yuan. I've gone this whole way without having to fill up on an Aerox. The owner of this bike said he switched out the tank for a nine liter tank. So it lasts way longer because Aerox are notoriously known for not being able to go very far on a tank. So 
that's been really nice. Don't have to worry about that fill up all the time. So we already finished up how many kilometers this morning? Just over 60. So we've got like 93 left. So an hour and 47 minutes to go. And our favorite fruit at the moment, persimmon. Ooh, yours looks better than mine. No, 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 no. it's fine. Oh, thank you. And now we're driving to a nice viewpoint, coffee, cafe, coffee stop place. And we're gonna chill there, eat a small lunch, have a coffee. Roads are beautiful, wide, open, sunshiny. As you can see, also quiet, which is something we're not used to. So this is really nice. These roads are so smooth, it's like a dream. It feels like I'm floating on air, or floating on the clouds. I don't know how to describe it, but so smooth. All right, we're stopping here. Landview Coffee. Black Electric. So we saw on the map there's a hot spring just right back here. So we're gonna go to that. It smells like sulfur. So we are currently doing a hot bath. And it's so hot. <laughs> How hot is it? At 40 degrees Celsius? Yeah, it's at 40 degrees. Oh. Ooh. It does feel nice though. It does. Ooh. It's so steep. hot. Oh, it's really hot. <sighs> but it feels so good. All these weary bones. All these weary bones. My back was nice and stiff. I yeah. sit like for two hours of driving. My back is really stiff, upper, upper mid back. Yeah, so I was my neck. Oh, yeah. Feels nice. So they have a public pool here, and then you can go into these rooms for a private bath. So you can see the actual hot springs are just here, and then they connected pipes into the private bath rooms and then into the pool also. How is it? It's good. I'm putting some vinegar on the rice. And then some stinky fish sauce. <laughs> I love the Packer Pow when it has the beans in it. Mm. So good. We finished up, up at the hot spring. I'm feeling all woozy and tired, loopy. We have about an hour's drive left to Mesa Young. 
And then we're gonna book it to the town. See you on the road. We just passed the sign that says Meister Young, 69 kilometers. So it's just around the corner, sort of. It's gonna take just about over an hour. But I just wanna say I'm really thankful for the life we have and that you have gave my life. It's been an absolute wonderful two years. It's been about two years since we started dating and exactly a, a year since we got engaged. And our lives together have just been absolutely wonderful. And I just wanna say I'm thankful for that. Also thankful for the opportunity to live in Thailand and have a really nice life here. Even though, you know, sometimes we wish we lived somewhere else. Um, there's a lot to be thankful for. You know, you can't have everything you ever wanted in one country. But Thailand really does offer a lot of the good things. And this is just one of them. Just want to say thank you and thank you for everyone that's uh, supporting our channel and watching our videos, helping us, you know, make this hobby possibly a job one day. Wow. This is so breathtaking. It's so beautiful. To drive on this, I just feel like it's an adult playground. <laughs> it's just like, woo, back and forth, back and forth. Through the trees. So much fun. We are 39 kilometers out from Mei Seriang. So that would be about 40-ish minutes. But the roads are so smooth and uh, straight and wide. You can, you can pick up some speed, it's quite nice. It feels like you're driving through a magical forest. Like, just look at it. It's so pretty. Like, I want to say my eyes hurt because they're pretty much my eyes have dried out. But look at that. Everywhere is just forest. Most beautiful green colors. Like you can see some of the trees are losing leaves and turning like autumn colors. It's a good day. There's a monk walking on the side of the road. Wow. I don't know where they're headed. But we've seen groups of monks walking the past couple days. Just look at where this town is situated. Like you're driving, 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 then you all of a sudden come along this town and you just have mountains all around. So amazing. But yeah, I think this loop is definitely doable in four days. There's a lot of time to do other things too. On the first day, we got in quite early and we even left late because we just went to Pai, which is a quick drive. And then the second day, we did the waterfall in the morning and didn't start until around like 11. Got in still with enough time last night before sunset. And today, we're gonna get in around three o'clock. We left a bit earlier, we left at nine this morning, but we had time to go to the hot spring. So it's definitely doable in four days and enjoyable. I mean, of course, we would love to have more time, but. To be honest, driving doesn't get much better than this. The roads are so smooth and the forest so green. It is absolutely magical. Oh, beautiful day of driving. 
I like this part even more than the first day. The first day is just too busy, too many cars, too many people on the road. So this is like beautiful. So we are in the town of May Serian. We made it. We are finally here. My butt hurts, my knees ache. But it's been a beautiful day driving. Uh, so our accommodation is just passed down somewhere just on the outskirts. So we'll just be driving through town and then check in. Ban Swan Suk Jai is where we're staying. Home garden. Oh yeah. Looks nice. We finally made it. Woo. So just booked into our room. This is our home for the night. <laughs> he only had a room of three beds. Ha <laughs> ha 